guys, it's me, Robin, our Silent Crafts. This video is Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, December 12th, 2017. That means there's only uh, less than two weeks until Christmas. Deep breath, deep breath. I'm actually all set. The only thing I really need to do is I want to bake some more cookies, but that's just because we want cookies, whether it's Christmas or not. I'm kind of surprised I got any type of crafting done this past week. Because it seems like every day someone has a small crisis. Nothing nothing major, but just my son has a car. He's on his sixth, yes, sixth car battery. Because they keep giving him batteries that are refurbished that aren't holding a charge. And he has this really big Hemi car that blah, 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 whatever, you know. It takes a lot of energy to start this car. So he's done the batteries. You t you've already spent a hundred and something dollars on it, so you take the battery back in hopes of getting one that actually works, but they keep giving them problem batteries. So he finally took it to the shop, and they determined that, once again, it was a dead cell in a battery, so he finally listened to mom, and he went somewhere else, cut your losses, you've already spent time harassing mom, so you need a ride to work all the time, harassing your sister to get a ride to work. You know, I mean, we're family, we help out, but there's always something. Shop people said it's the battery, nothing else, we went to another place to get a battery yesterday and knock on wood, knock on air because air don't burn. He's in good shape. So take care of that. Take my other son back and forth to work, which is no problem because, you know, he's 18. He's not quite ready to have the responsibility of a car. Then you got to do the emotional support with the daughter and you got to deal with the husband. But anyways, I did get some crafting done. Sometimes I think if it wasn't for doing these YouTube videos, I would find an excuse to never get anything done. But because I need to have a video up for everyone, for you guys every week, I did get some things done. I worked on mug rugs for this past Friday's video. Uh, these are from the Red Boot Quilt Company. They're from the free pattern page. If you go back to the videos where last Friday's where I show you, there'll be links to everything there. But what I did... I plan on using these as wall hangings because they're just, I don't know, I don't use mug rugs and they're just too cute not to hang them up. I have a snowman with a little bit of rickrack for his um, headband. With, by accident, snowman on the back. Mr. Reindeer. It just, the colors, she, the, the woman who designs things for the Red Boot Quilt Company, she uses these bright, bright colors, and I love bright colors. So I tried to follow her, her lead and use some jewel tones and some bright colors. So we've got the really nice looking reindeer. I went ahead and used the plaid for the antlers. Wintertime plaid hats, you know, it all goes together. More snowmen. There were some bonus ones. There was a bird. So I went ahead and made the bird with stockings. I'm slowly using up my Christmas stash. I don't make too many Christmas items anyways. I'd rather have I'd rather have something in the colors like this, the, the bold bright jewel tones or something than actual Christmas fabrics. So there's Santa. I love his little mustache. He's got gingerbread men. And the last one, I think this is supposed to be figgy pudding, but I am calling it a um, cupcake. It's mine. I can call it whatever I want, right? So there's all my mug rug wall hangings. Because like I said, mug rugs are too cute to just put coffee on them. And I don't always drink coffee or tea. I got the mock-up for my daughter's hoodie done. She's tried this on yesterday. And of course, the shoulders even... I went with a... The pattern came with uh, like eight sizes. So I went with the, the one in the middle. But still, it wasn't quite broad enough for her shoulders and the sleeves were already this far too long six inches so she wants the cuff the three inch cuff to actually land here so I need to chop off like nine ten inches of this to make her cuff I think the only thing that worked out right on the mock-up was the fact that the length is perfect it's really strange after working things for my boys. My boys are all both 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, so when I make something for my 5'6 daughter, it's just, it feels so tiny like her little child. Although she wouldn't be pleased if I called her little child. 
somebody's always mistaking her for someone in middle school. She, she's like not happy. I told her, when you get older, you'll be pleased. Her friend at work has twin boys. They're like 10 months old. So she asked for hats. So she asked for Christmas hats for them. I didn't want to make straight up Santa Claus Christmas hats because then they can really only wear them for one time. And well, it's not too cold here in Florida. It, it has been in the 40s the last couple days. So there's the first one done. And I'm making an identical one for his twin brother, but with just a red cuff. Robby socks have only been getting it on here and there because the hats come before his because he doesn't need his until Christmas. The other thing I've been working on is my miter square blanket. The group of knitters, a bunch of knitters actually, whoever are making blankets like this, they're doing one square a day for Advent. A lot of them have purchased Advent calendars where you open it up and you just get one little uh, mini skein of yarn to work on your blanket with. But I have a whole bunch of little scraps that I'm just using up. So I decided, I used to just sit in the morning and read a book. And while I enjoy reading the book, it was never that relaxing. And sometimes just being too tired, I'd fall asleep. So when I started doing this, I thought, well, I'm wasting a couple wasting a couple hours in the morning reading a book. So I started doing an audiobook and knitting on a square in the morning. Keeps me from dozing back off and I'm getting more done on my blanket. Plus I find listening to the audiobook is very, very relaxing and I can feel the stress just easing in the morning. And it's a great way to start the morning. So I think I've got about 17 squares done on this, so I'm working up a little bit ahead of everyone else. Once I turn this back into a square or rectangle or whatever it turns into, I think right now it's 13 squares by 12. So once that gets all evened out, then I will go ahead and just start making it bigger. So that was my weekend crafting. Now let me show you a little haul I found. Yesterday I went to my doctor and right next door is a thrift store. And when I sit through my doctor's appointment, I reward myself by going to the thrift store. They had tons and tons and tons of zippers. They had metal zippers. They had the sports separating zippers and then just your regular everyday zippers. So I picked up two black ones for when I do Robbie's hoodie. He only wants it to zip down to here and have it as a pullover. And I know I have a ton of zippers here, but I was afraid that once I started making it, I wouldn't have a black zippers, which is what I wanted. So I picked up two of them, one a little shorter, one a little longer. This one's seven inches, so this one's probably about six or five. And I figure for 50 cents each, I will find a use for them if I don't use them in his hoodie. And then I couldn't pass this up. This looks to be about a yard of the one by one white ribbing that I just purchased for my son's hoodie. This was $3. His stuff was $15, but I got it on a sale with a coupon, so don't worry. But for $3, I wasn't gonna pass this up. Shadows outside the window caught my eye. But for $3, there was no way I was going to pass this up because fabric fabric doesn't really spoil or go bad. I'll put it on my shelves and I'll use it for something else. I can actually make a shirt out of this if I wanted to. So I thought that was really a good deal for $3. Now my exciting find was this heart mold. This is a silicone Wilton heart mold for, I guess you can make candies in it, you can make little um, little mini cupcakes or something, little cakes or something like that, but I, per I picked it up for making soap. I want to try making handmade soap next year, so I thought this would be a fun little mold. I have some plastic molds that were given to me before that I can use to make some soap in just to start out with, but this will be good for like little leftovers or little embeds and stuff like that little sample soap, so this will be fun. Well, that's about all I have for this week. Um, looking forward to seeing everyone's videos as usual. I love seeing all the different projects everyone's working on. It always gives me new ideas and different color combinations, so it's always great to see what everyone's doing. This week coming up, I am just going to be finishing, I'm gonna finish that hat in the next couple of days. I gotta finish Robbie's socks, work on my advent um, afghan. And then other than that, this week's video on Friday is going to be about um, EPP hexes. So I'll be playing with those. See you next week. Bye.